All right, we're here with Coach Herbie, boxing coach. CrossFit coach. CrossFit coach. More, and uh, all around fitness. All around fitness, all right. You challenge me all the time to all this spot. You beat me up, uh -huh. I'm not beating you up yet. Uh -huh. And now I'm challenging him to read a book with me. Do you read? Yes. What do you read? A lot of fantasy novels. A lot of fantasy. We're all about fantasy on this channel. Can you guess what we'll be reading this month? Not quite sure. You only gave me an idea. Any guesses? I, 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 I know it's involving about fisticuffs to sit. <laughs> boxing <laughs> yeah, or something. something sort right. of a physical. We're going to be reading a boxing romance. Okay, I, I, I'm looking forward to it. All I'm right. a little open-minded. We'll see it's, how this goes. It's called Real by uh -huh. Katie Evans, I think. So the summary is literally like one night with him and I forgot my name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna be checking in. We're gonna be seeing how Herbie's doing with this book compared uh -huh. to your fantasy book. Uh -huh. And we're gonna hopefully honor you a romance reader by the end of this video. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think I don't so? think, you don't think so. we're gonna switch over no. to the other side? As people said, I'm dead inside. Well, hopefully this gives him a heart and some ideas. You okay. never know. <laughs> All right, we'll check in later. Oh, shit. Only a few chapters in, and I'm going to seriously have to apologize to my coach. I am so sorry. I cannot believe I am. I'm literally making him read this book. It is so insanely graphic. I'm just sitting here like dying. One of the lines is literally her gazing at him for knocking someone out. And she said that he looks like he wants to pound her next with his that's just the first three pages. I'm gonna be mortified when we have our first update. <laughs> All right, okay. You look like I'm working hard. Give me just like your initial thoughts. I went for an audiobook. I mean, that's the way to go. Okay. Okay. But as I was driving at work, the first chapter I was like, whoa, this girl's really descriptive. She's so descriptive. I was like, this girl is like either going to be like very, very, very thirsty in the first chapter of just how he described uh, the guy named Rem. Remy? Yeah. yeah. What do they call him in the ring? Riptide. Riptide. Yeah. Do you have a boxing name too? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I have, I have none of those. Herptide? <laughs> no, 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 no. As the second chapter, the third chapter crosses in, it's okay. a little bit more you know, descriptive, a little bit more calmed down. Descriptive. Yeah. The number one thing I like about the book is that they do mention right terms on the strikes. On the boxing. On the boxing, on the boxing part. Side. Very descriptive and I'm also very amused that the girl okay. Brooke is also a physical therapist. Does it he teach her in like one of the chapters? Later on, I know. I, I just finished reading that part. Yeah. Uh, and apparently he was irritated because she hurt herself. I do like that she's a, a previous uh, Olympic medalist yeah, or whatever, she was. before she got hurt. Um, yeah. But that's all you know so far. I am still a little uncomfortable at some parts <laughs> of the uh, of the chapter. And this is your first like romance. This is my first romance, and uh, I was like, what the. The only thing I could say so far is like, why is this author so obsessed with nipples? I do get that. She did describe it everywhere. One point. She described them again. Yeah. I was like, when Brooke gets sparks out of nowhere or a little bit of uh, an anytime hormone they touch, boost. it's always yes. like on fire. Yeah, it's a good recommendation, but it's a good recommendation. Okay. I'm just keeping myself open-minded. That's why I'm okay. a good recommendation. <laughs> but it. it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Very out of your comfort zone. <laughs> You're gonna like hate me forever. No, no, no. I'm gonna actually uh, get more suggestions from you from book. Maybe fantasy next time. Yeah, a little bit more calm down, a little bit. <laughs> Let's check our session today and see what happens. Okay. Look, this author is 100% obsessed with nipples. There are so many lines in here about Remington's perfect brown hairless nipples. I am just more and more mortified as we move along in this. It is super smutty. I think if you're a smut lover, you're gonna love this book a lot. I was really hoping for something more of a plot when it comes to boxing, but we don't really have much of that yet. 
This is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a really tough one to get through. You were annoyed that Brooke ran. Oh yeah, so I was annoyed that Brooke ran because I ruptured my patella tendon. And doing that kind of thing was uh, almost near impossible. The pain that shoots up is ridiculous. Um, I do have a scar to show it, but... Yeah. So I was like, hmm... You could just she was running. She was running? Why would she run when she... No, 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 no. Okay, I just read some chapters before I have to go to my class and I am just mortified by how detailed it is. And I'm wondering if he's struggling as much as I am or even more because he's never read romance. And even though I have, this is like a struggle, okay? This is kind of tough for me to get through. So I guess we'll have to see what he has to say. And by the way, if you're enjoying all these shenanigans and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep hanging out with me and catch more of these videos. What's up, Herb Tide? <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Okay. Why do we look so tired? No, okay. I'm exhausted. Oh, you're recording already. Yeah. Cut that up. Cut it. We're here to formally apologize to Herbie, <laughs> to Coach Herbie, for reading this. I think toward the end, I was like, I can't believe I'm reading this with my boxing coach right now. <laughs> I feel so bad. This is the smuttiest book I have ever read, and that includes Akatar. I know you don't know what that is. I don't know is. who that is. It's a fantasy book where literally their wingspan matches their wingspan, if you know what it is. It's just very graphic and insane, and this was worse. I have nothing um, to compare with. Have you ever read Smutty? No, smuttiness is like sexual scenes, oh, like yeah. open door, graphic, more detail. So this would be my first one, um, and I would like to, uh, <laughs> and the narrator did an amazing job of uh, pretty much describing every bit of it. I don't know if I would say amazing. <laughs> I know it's the first time. I, I give myself an open mind. I was like uncomfortable the first few times. I was still <laughs> uncomfortable by the end of it. <laughs> and then I got used to it <laughs> at the very end, especially uh, chapter 9. <laughs> I feel like it was 60% sexual scenes mm -hmm. and 30% plot. Yes. <laughs> if that. Kind of saw the plot from the very beginning when they introduced Scorpion and the sister. <laughs> I saw the opening because I've seen enough fantasy fiction that I've been reading often uh, to see that little loophole. Like, okay. This has okay. like this much plot and this much like Brooke just talking about Remington's <laughs> nipples. <laughs> Because the it's amount, physicality, you gotta say. But like the nipples, I don't know what was up with this author talking about those things. She said it 29 times. In this 14 chapter book, she said it 29 times. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean like she didn't leave anything to the imagination. She was pretty disruptive, you know, very disruptive. What do you think of their actual romance? I think it was a little bit uh, more of a uh, addicted to each other. I was gonna say obsession. Obsession. Right? Okay, yeah. it wasn't just me. Um, it's just Ugh. like at one point in the time, I was like, what the heck, just get the do the deeds and get it over with. You know? I know, but even <laughs> after that, it's like, what the heck? Oh, wait, wait, time I'm gonna have to say this. But okay. I did listen to the prologue as well on the very end. Oh, Remy's side. Remy's side. Yeah. And I was like, you know what, though? I think they're equally obsessed. <laughs> obsessed with oh, yeah. Other. Alpha male territorial. Yes. Yes. That's the trope in here. So if you like that, then you'll find that in here. I think anger issues, though. Yes. I like, would say that would be leading towards his bipolar. yeah, bipolarism, yeah. which was kind of weird for me. It's because because like this guy's perfect all the time and his bipolarism is kind of perfect for him as well. <laughs> okay, I know I did my major in psych, but that doesn't mean that I'm a therapist or licensed for this. So I don't know what to think about that aspect of this book where he's bipolar. And I think the author romanticizes it. Brooke is the only one that can actually calm him down. You know what, I can just see that. If you guys do watch Shameless, they do have that one too. Uh, shameless? Yeah, shameless? You watch Shameless? If you watch Shameless uh, with Ian Gallagher and Don Nakovich, the, the Russian dude. Okay. That Ian is a uh, bipolar and he's the only one that can control him. So you're used to that trope? Yes. Do you so, like it? I'm open mind to it, but I do like the show Shameless though, so it's a little bit biased. Did you like it in the book? Kinda did not mind at all at the book. I did not care at all either way. It gave me more context of what Remington was be between two personalities. I get that, and I think that was like fine. Even though it was weird how the author was like, when he's bad, he goes black, and when he's good, wait, wait, he's uh, blue. Wait, also, uh, kinda, I don't know if it's real. I could be a uh, uh, very ignorant about this about the eyes turning I, that, I, I, exactly. I was like hmm I, so I was like ah. but like his eye color would change to black when he was having a manic episode mm -hmm. and then they would change back to like crystal blue 
when he was good, yeah. which I think just sounded messed up. I think and, <laughs> if they were ever going to do this in a movie, it would be very uh, shown up, like, oh, yeah, he's not Remington. Yeah. He's the Remington normal, but, Remington black. <laughs> yeah, but also when he wasn't manic, he was still pretty violent. Yeah. Like when he finds out what happened, I'm not going to spoil, but something happened and he just like flipped a table right away in a restaurant and cornered her. Mm -hmm. But she had to sh prove to him that she loved him and wasn't scared mm -hmm. and stayed. That just felt weird. So Alpha like, male dominance. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's like the mo like mafia romance novels or yes. dark romance. Yes. I guess this is a dark romance, a little I, bit. I would say a little bit of uh, everything, but mostly dark romance, sexual desire, <laughs> <laughs> and very disruptive emotions. Okay, would you read this again? Yes, I'm not gonna lie. It was, you would read it I would again? Read it again. Oh my god! I'll, I think he likes romance more than I do. Uh, oh, that romance did not really um, affect me either way. It was just the context of his being mysterious. Remington in the very beginning of the chapter and toward the end of the chapter. I don't want to spoil anything. At the end of the chapter, it kind of disclosed what he, what he was doing. Yeah. And it was like, ooh, cool. So would you read yeah. it in like Remington's point of view? Absolutely. He was more interesting, I right? Think, uh, I think Remington was even that, that little. And it's so funny because do we really know Remington throughout the book? Like, do you really feel like you know him? Because I felt like I knew about his tattoo, like his star tattoo, his nipples, <laughs> all that, but I did not know who he was as a character, except he liked to fight, he was protective, and he you had know, a soft Now that you mention it, they weren't really uh, disrupt, uh, you know, descriptive about what he was uh, right? attitude-wise, only that he was angry all the time, he blacked out. We love him for some reason. I, like, yeah, he, he actually grew on me. I feel like we ended up infatuated with him as well. What was it like reading Smuttiness for the first time? Well, that chapter one part, I I kind of heard it from the audiobook and I was like, I kind of know what kind of book this is going to be. If I remember correctly, actually I was not exposed to this this early, but remember those pocket books back in the day? No. Oh my god. It, it was, so my sisters had those little pocket Like from books. Safeway? No, they, they, she actually collects them. There's a picture in front of the most it. famous I'm a romantic picture person. I forgot his name. Not Fabio. Fabio. Yeah, it reminds me that of the Safeway. Sorry, I call them Safeway books, but it's it's romance books. Yes. They have but, like setbacks. Just to cut you, my sister just showed me that one line. I was like, hmm, this sounds like a pocketbook that I've seen before. <laughs> I was never interested at. This actually has a sequel. And it's called Mine. <laughs> kind of saw it in the book. I saw it all Are like, you looking it up? Because after I finished the audiobook with Remington, they suggested Mine. They're like, hmm, is this a different, different person, but similar scenario? Or is it a continuation from Tate Remington and Brooke? <laughs> it's a continuation from Remington and Brooke. Is it? Yeah. Mm. It is. So I you're gonna read it next. Maybe we'll see how that goes. I don't mind. I'm, I'm open mind. I'll probably try it what out. What are What are some of your favorite books? So I said right now I've been reading *Eminence of Shadow*, a guy who's been uh, reborn in a different kind of reality, and also focuses on developing himself, superior being. Yeah. Just like Remington. You're Remington. <laughs> He's like die hard for a riptide now. And another one is also Overlord, which is basically conquering the world. Are you excited to read mine? Oh, I, why not? Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't I'm mind. Like myself. I said, I'm actually open. I kind of like have some disruptive things in my mind. I was like, what the heck? There was this, this scene, not in the bedroom, but other other spot. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, oh my god. They did everything. It's rated like a mature okay. times 10. It's but like, read the book. It's really good. <laughs> I'm open-minded, okay? I'm open-minded, it's readable. Look, I'm open-minded, or I wouldn't try this, but I don't like it. I, I was baffled at first, the first three chapters, and I was like, you know what? I'm listening to this audiobook while I'm working, I'm gonna stop. I can't. I'm baffled by this review right now. Did you like all the boxing? Like, what did you I actually, Especially that final scene. I you did know, like between it. You know who. I did like every yeah. part of it. It was very uh, descriptive, and you know, I would say all the combination, when I do close my eyes and try to imagine them, they were there. Oh. And I do like like his adversary was yeah. also very interesting. Um, I would like to see his point of view as well. Okay. You would? I would. He sounds terrible. I, would, he but sounds I mean, but interesting. Sometimes, you know, it's two sides to a coin. You can't always have the head That's part, true. which is good. You have to know the tail part. Look at him. He's just going to take over my channel. I'm sorry. Like, at this <laughs> no, no, you're fine. And there's nothing bad. The way they showed the boxing world from both of them, like Remington and Square, is really dark. 
Yes. Like, have you been around any of that to kind of see if that's true or not? That is uh, one of those things that I was not exposed to. I did not okay. stay in the industry or exposed to that kind of thing right. at all. I, I think it does exist. If I do speak to my other colleagues, one of my coaches yeah. here is Jesse. He walks like Scorpio. Ah, shoot, did I just ruin this? No, 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 that's another rival. That's yeah, the rival. Whoa, he kind of gives me Scorpion vibes. No way, so yeah. you're picturing him. So well, I, like and then if I do had to uh, describe Remington, I would say it would be the owner of this gym, the, the younger version of Brad. So I've known Brad for a while, but he has two sides to him as well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice though. The good side. The blue eye. The blue. The then with, with Nora. Uh, no, I think they just needed something to draw you in, to keep yeah. you in there. Well, that was like four weeks yeah. of her. I'm, we're not going to spoil, but yeah. that just didn't feel... I don't think that was in long enough. Overall star rating, one through five. One through five? I would give it a three and seventy-five. Okay, three I would say close to a four. I would say if I had more time in there, because I did kind of less listen to audiobook and doing it at the same time. If I was more focused to it, I would say I would give it a four, just because uh, it was my first slutty book. <laughs> I did enjoy it, not gonna lie. Uh, even though... It's a nice break, maybe. It was a nice Don't break for guys. me, but still, I kind of like her descriptive of everything. I was like, okay. <laughs> I give this two stars. This is not... She probably read more books than I did. She reads more than I do. This is too much. I'm just in her head living her fantasies. Like, that's all I'm doing at this point. I would agree. It reminded me of, um, if you guys watched the Hunger Games series or uh, read the Hunger Games books, it's like from Katniss How Everdeen. How does this remind you? No! It's just from Katniss Everdeen the I'm entire so offended. This is not as annoying as Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> I, didn't, I did not finish the Hunger Games. I only read the two chapters. I'm the two books. I'm sorry. I was gonna say chapters. I'm sorry. It's the two books. She did not talk about like pita's bread. Not any <laughs> of those things. I would just say it was. It's not as good as that. However, the perspective of a female's thoughts the entire time was there. I don't know what kudos to, to her. Soft, I like honestly. it. I like it. <laughs> It's really cool. I don't really meet a lot of people that are this open-minded. Yeah, I mean like, new like we're a new century. You gotta adapt to it. But this is what we're about on the show. We tried different things. I pushed Coach Kirby out of his normal genre. Just like I pushed myself and that was horrible. But apparently he liked it. So okay. I thought I had to formally apologize to Herbie. So I got him a gift. <laughs> I didn't have but to. We converted Herbie into a romance reader. <laughs> and oh, yeah. you oh, said no. Yeah, so yeah, you I changed did. your mind over I time. Did, I did, I did. At least for reading, for taking the time to read this book because he really didn't have to. Thank I you. I just thought it was fun. Although I like the color too. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to have you back on and read something else. That's fine. This I'm is all, fun. Give me a longer time frame though. Uh, you gave me three weeks. I do have another people to suggest yeah. for you. Lynn will be perfect for you. Oh, okay. Like, He's uh, nominating other uh, coaches. I'm not gonna give my brother any time to, but. He has a twin brother. <laughs> I do have a twin brother. So we're gonna try Harvey next too. <laughs> He's officially Herb Tide, <laughs> romance reader, smutty connoisseur. Thanks for joining. Absolutely. And we'll see what we read next. Bye. <laughs>